We are learning more this morning about the guy arrested for a string of highway shootings that terrorized people in and around Kansas City. He's now being held on a million dollars bail, and his family is speaking out. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the story. Gio, good morning. Hey, Dan, good morning to you. This is the highway where so many of those cars were shot at. But right now, investigators say they have the right suspect behind bars. Take a look. This morning, as Muhammad Whitaker sits in a jail cell, his family is speaking out about accusations that the 27-year-old is the man behind a terrifying shooting spree along Kansas City's highway. It never seemed like he was uh, the type of kid that would blow up or get excited over very many things. The city has been terrorized after a month-long ordeal. 20 cars shot and three people injured. Whitaker has been charged for some of those shootings, 18 felonies so far. A task force, including local police, the FBI, and ATF, ended a 10-day manhunt with Whitaker's arrest. But now police say residents of Kansas City can drive without fear. Tom McFarland, one of the first victims, now telling us about how much worse it could have been. So your son normally sits right here. You see the bullet hole right on that door. Right. Immediately you thought, oh my gosh, this could have been him. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little bit more nerve wracking because I could have almost dealt with this being a one time crazy random thing, but then it turns out to be some kind of serial highway shooter. It's a lot scarier. Whitaker was arrested in his own home just five miles away from the epicenter of the violent spree. Investigators say tips from the public played a crucial role in ending the nightmarish rampage before the worst case scenario. This case is a prime example of the positive results that come from a community joining forces against crime. Whitaker's license plate was reported when a woman spotted a man wearing a hoodie and mask in 70 degree weather. Authorities say Whitaker's prints were found on a Walmart bag filled with ammo boxes, pointed out by another vigilant citizen. And this morning here in Kansas City, so many people asking why. Why were all of those cars shot at? But right now, police have not released any possible motive just yet. Diana? All right, Gio, our thanks to you.